the masts in. We're at the stage now where she's in the water. And it's, uh, you know, all the little things that need to be done. Some of them are very big. Rigging is a big part mm -hmm. of it. Uh, part of the things that they're working on right now. Oh, yeah. It is, yeah. yeah, it's taken apart. As you can see here, this is all, all had to be reconstructed. That's part of this. So there's a lot of structural work in the bow. The whole transom is essentially rebuilt. Yeah. And to get it up and slide it in and, you know, like so many of these things, when you talk one of the shipwrights, you'll see, you know, these are the precision that they they have to get these really large pieces of wood. They all have to fit together exactly. There's a tool called a socket slick that is just an enormous chisel. And that is that gets used a lot for uh, pairing and fitting pieces of wood. And that's a, that's a very useful, old-fashioned right tool. Right now, I've got about uh, eight what I would call really first-class shipwrights. I've got a couple of sort of journeymen. And uh, overall on the project, there's probably 16 individuals right now. At a peak, before launch, we had up to 26. Mm. But now we're getting into uh, different skills. We've got uh, blacksmiths, uh, shipsmiths. Uh, we've got riggers going strong. And uh, in addition to riggers, we've got people starting to put in the uh, safety systems. You know, yeah. Uh, redoing the electricity and uh, pumps and things like that. The whole transom was rebuilt. Yeah. And those large beams are the transom timbers, which are the principal, you know, members upon which the whole transom is built. Yeah. They cross the stern post, and the stern post is the aftermost vertical yeah. uh, principal member. You know, the unique materials that we needed to do the job and the rarity of the quality of wood that went into original construction, that was uh, quite a challenge, a very interesting uh, process of acquiring. That, that's what part of the reason it's taking us, you know, five years to do a restoration, yeah, yeah. and it took six yeah. to nine months to build her with yeah. labor problems. And the uh, the reason is that, you know, they just had to build her, which was a big accomplishment. Yeah. But uh, we have to make sure that you know, everything is carefully documented and everything is getting done just yeah, the way. It's, I mean, it's